My name's Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, and this is Welcome to Worcester State. Welcome to Worcester State is an online web show where each week we talk about the important topics that are a part of a new student's transition to Worcester State. This week, we're talking about orientation. I'm very excited to be joined by Sarah Patrikas, Assistant Director of Office of Student Involvement and Leadership Development, as well as Josh Katz, Coordinator of Student Conduct. Sarah, Josh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yes. Awesome. Can you tell everyone at home a little bit about yourselves? Yeah, so uh, again, I'm Sarah, I'm an assistant director in the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership Development. Uh, we do a lot of different things, clubs, leadership programs, all that fun stuff, but one of the uh, main things we focus on during the summer is our first year orientation program. Awesome. Josh? Um, yep, my name is Josh Katz. I'm the coordinator of student conduct. I also am one of the three professional staff members that is involved in the orientation uh, program along with Sarah and Christy. Awesome. Well, you both know already that we do have some pre-planned questions, so let's get started with those. Uh, what exactly is orientation? So orientation is a comprehensive two-day experience that invites all of our new incoming first-year students to campus. It allows them the opportunity to get to meet other students in their class, they get to meet faculty members in their major, and then they also get to learn a little bit more about the services and programs that we offer here for our students. So it's really just kind of a big, view of what college life is like and kind of introduces everybody to the university. Awesome. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the orientation staff for this year? Yeah, so we have uh, 24 orientation leaders, two of which are co-directors. So they're, they're the student co-directors, Maribel and Corinne. And they, those two have been working since February uh, to start the program for June. Um, <clears throat> once you're in the program, each of the students will have two orientation leaders within their group. It's a great, diverse group of students, and we, we're really looking forward to working with them. Awesome. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, where a student can sign up for orientation? Yeah, so students can sign up right online. Mailings are actually starting this week. Um, so you're going to get a, a little booklet in the mail, and it'll give you all the information about the program as well as information for how to sign up. So um, you would go right to our website, worcester.edu slash orientation, which is where you can sign up for your preferred session. So we have three sessions, uh, June 17th and 18th, June 20th and 21st, and June 24th and 25th. So you can pick out whichever one fits best with your schedule. Um, that way you can plan your vacation, hopefully around them, um, and then you sign up and you attend. Awesome. Um, and the sign, up, Sorry. The, the sign up deadline is June 7th. Great. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, does a student have to stay overnight for orientation? It's not required that they stay overnight, but it is highly encouraged because we do have stuff at night. The, the, your, uh, your fellow classmates are there, and it kind of just gets you immersed in the orientation program. Um, after dinner, we have a bunch of activities that are throughout the night, really up until midnight. Um, and even if you're registered as a commuter in the fall, you can stay over. And again, we do suggest it. Um, it is a $25 fee to stay over, uh, and that is due at the time of check-in for orientation. Great. Um, can a student bring a car to orientation? I guess, where, where should they park? Yeah, a student can drive themselves to orientation. Um, as the program gets closer, you'll get information about where exactly to park. We usually just have students leave their car in the garage, but it is 100% okay to bring your car for orientation. Awesome. So what sort of events occur at orientation? I guess, what does the traditional two-day schedule sort of look like? So like you said, it is two full days. Uh, the first day is really getting the students acclimated to Worcester State and the campus. Uh, a lot of student affairs and student services will be there. Day two is more academics, faculty, scheduling, uh, a lot of what you need to know to make your academics uh, career a success at Worcester State. Um, we do feed you the, the entire time. Good. All the meals are awesome. included. That's very Done. important. If you haven't learned by now, you will. Um, so, you know, those, those, it is two full days. Great. Uh, what are some important things that a student should definitely be sure to bring to orientation? So you need to make sure to bring your ID. Um, if you haven't already had your one card photo taken, so your one card is your student ID card for the year. If you haven't had that taken yet, you will need an ID in order to get the picture taken and pick up your card at orientation. If you're staying overnight, uh, a change of clothes would be helpful, um, as well as some sheets or a sleeping bag, a pillow, and you might want to bring a fan. Um, the overnight accommodations are in Dowden Hall, which is one of our traditional first year residence halls, um, but there is no air conditioning, so a fan would be helpful. Great. 
and I guess the last question, what if a student can't make it to one of the three orientation sessions? So if they can't make it to one of the three orientation sessions, they should give our office a call, um, and Maribel uh, and or Corinne will be able to help you out. The number is 508-929-8615. Uh, if they can't produce other options, they will be able to uh, give you information that you will be missing. But again, we, we really hope that we'll see you there. Awesome. Well, those are all the pre-planned questions, but as everyone at home already knows, and as you all already know, we have the random wheel of questions. Hey. So, uh, I'm, Sarah, if you can give that a spin, and then we'll ask away. All right, and we got study <laughs> spot. Excellent, excellent question. All right, uh, Sarah, Josh, can't repeat the same answer. Uh, what is a really great study spot for students here on campus? So if I were a student, I would study in Lancer Landing in the <clears> student <throat> center. It's on the first floor. Not many people know about it, so it's very quiet. We all just got brand new furniture yeah. down there. So there's couches and chairs and some tables. Um, and also it's right next to the food court, so you can get a snack. Um, but that would be where I would study. Yeah. Can I spin the wheel again? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you really, if, I uh, do because I was going to go with Lance Landing because of the new furniture. Okay, you can right. spin it. This is first time in the history of the show. Uh, we're going to go for a second spin. <laughs> I hope it lands it on the same thing. Uh, oh. Fun fact. Oh, okay. So Josh, a fun fact about either you or your office, or just school in general. A fun fact. A fun fact I think about um, Worcester State is it is a, on a very good side of the city. Um, if you go off campus, they're really, it doesn't have the city feel. It has more of a town, suburban feel to it, um, which I like because, you know, when I was here and for students that are here, it, there's really no problem taking a walk to Dunkin' Donuts or to, um, you know, McDonald's or Cumberland Farms or something to get a snack. Uh, it, it's actually a, a pretty decent area of the city. Yeah, and it's a nice walk to all those places. They're yes. all within a mile of the campus, so that is a, a great benefit. All right, well, great. Well, those are all of our questions, including apparently today's two random questions. Uh, if you've enjoyed this show, make sure you check out another. This has been Welcome to Worcester State. We have new episodes every Wednesday, so go to youtube.com uh, slash Worcester State. Click on our playlist. Uh, big thank you to, to Josh and Sarah for joining us to talk about orientation. My name is Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, signing off here from Worcester State. Happy Wednesday. Bye, everyone. <laughs>